Do you love seeing people get humiliated? Are you in need of a good old-fashioned plane crash? How about a car crash? Well, gather around the fire and let me tell you the story of Marimar, a Mexican telenovela with so many face slaps and bitchy eye rolls that you'll probably need a Xanax to get through it. Because telenovelas are hell. Marimar is the story of a very poor girl who takes baths in the ocean and has never cut her toenails in her entire life. Marimar lives in a straw hut with her abuelitos who are like 112 years old and always look like they're lost. And her best friend, a dog that talks with the voice of a 50-year-old grown man. Si Marimar se muere, yo pa qué quiero vivir? One day, Marimar's grandparents tell her that they're sick and tired of only eating fish. So she sneaks into someone's private farm to steal a carrot and some eggs. Except she gets caught by a man who tries to force himself on her. Immediately, her dog comes to her rescue. So the man tries to shoot him, but instead shoots an innocent chicken that happened to be walking by, minding its own business. Sergio, the owner of the land and also owner of a very healthy amount of hair on his chest, hears the shots and rescues Marimar. He feels bad for her, so he lets her keep the eggs and the carrot and even throws in a tomato and the chicken with the bullet in it. His kindness is so big that she instantly falls in love with him. The next day, Sergio and his father are riding horses wearing matching outfits when they bump into Marimar. And he's like, hey, and she's like, hey. So he invites her over and is like, I'll marry you, but only if you cut your long ass toenails and take a shower because you stink like a fish. Marimar follows his hygiene instructions, so he comes over carrying a trash bag with a wrinkled, hideous wedding dress inside, and they get married. I know, it's the most romantic thing you've ever seen. Things get even more terrible for Marimar when she moves in with Sergio's rich family and his garbage stepmom immediately starts treating Marimar like crap for being poor. She humiliates her by making her wear this terrible gown that looks like if a Disney princess exploded, and then offers her a gold bracelet, but only if she scoops it out of the mud with her mouth. It gets worse, guys, because then she has her arrested for stealing the bracelet. Marimar gets put in jail, where she has to share a cell with a drunk senior citizen that eats all her food. Is this not enough drama for you? Well, here's some more. While Marimar is in jail, she gets informed that her grandparents' hut has been set on fire and that they're both dead. Oh, and that her husband left her to join a soccer team. When Marimar gets released from prison, she moves to Mexico City, where she gets a job working as a maid to this rich guy who only wears robes. He takes a special liking to her and makes her dress like a schoolgirl and creepily stares at her while teaching her how to read, how to chew food, how to walk, and of course, how to dress like a badass bitch. One day, Marimar discovers that her rich boss is actually her dad. The creepy coincidences don't stop there. Guess who Marimar bumps into while on a date with her dad at the opera? Yup, her shack carpet-chested husband who abandoned her and is now kicking himself in the ass because she's looking hotter and more refined than ever. Things seem chill now, so obviously we know tragedy is about to strike. Out of nowhere, Marimar's dad gets very sick, so Marimar desperately gets him to sign a will so she can have all his money, while the man is literally choking on his deathbed. Classy. Now Marimar is rich, and honey, she's out for revenge. First, she sues Sergio for unpaid child support for a baby that she had somewhere along the line. Next, she buys his stepmom's estate, just so she can have her beg for it back and retrieve the ownership papers by digging her face through the mud. This is next level petty. In case Sergio and his family didn't suffer enough for what they put Marimar through, the telenovela gods deliver by having Sergio's plane crash while he's taking a flying lesson. And just for shits and giggles, make his stepmom get into a nightmare car accident that causes her to literally burn alive. 
Now that Sergio has no dignity left, Marimara is finally ready to forgive him and take him back. So the couple gets married, and he gives her a kiss so passionate, it looks like he's about to rip her face off. The end.